Hello, we're going to see how to download the Salon IDE and run our first Salon program today. Let's go. So the first thing we're going to do is check that we have the proper version of Java installed because we need ver Java version 1.7. So we open a terminal and we start the Java command with minus version. We check that the version number is at least 1.7. Second thing we're going to check is that we have Eclipse version Juno installed, which is version 4.2. So we go to Eclipse Help About, and then we click on Installation Details, and we expand the Eclipse IDE. And we have Eclipse Platform, we can see version 4.2, so we're good for now. Let's close this. And now we go to our website, salon-lang.org, where you can go on the Download section. And then you can scroll down a bit to Salon IDE and click on Update Site. You copy the URL for the update site. And then you go back to Eclipse. You go to Help, Install New Software. You configure a new software source, so you add, name it Salon, copy the URL, click OK, and then Eclipse will start fetching contents from this update site. When you see Salon, you can click it, and then click on Next, and Next again. You accept the license, which is an open source license, and you finish. So now Eclipse will fetch everything from our update site. It's going to take a while. At some point it will show a warning because we haven't signed the plugin yet, so bear with us now and click OK. And then you have to restart Eclipse for the plugin to be fully installed. Once it's installed, you can open the Salon perspective. Let me clean this up a bit. And now we can start creating a new Salon project. So we go on New, Salon Project. Let's call it Demo. You can see that Eclipse created a folder for us, which is named source, which is where the source files will be. So now we need to create a module, because everything is contained in modules in Salon. So it's a bit like packages, but it, it's a container of packages. So we click on New, Salon Module, we give it a name, Demo, version 1 is good. So now it created a folder which contains three files. Module.salon is the module descriptor. You have a name, a version, and an optional list of dependencies. We have a package descriptor which says that the demo package is shared, which means that it's visible outside of the module. And we have a run.salon file which contains a top level function called run, which we can use to print hello world. So let's do this. And the first quick fix we learn in the IDE is Control 2, which is useful to insert a semicolon at the end of the expression. So now we're going to run this code, we save it, and then we right click, run as Salon application, and we can see Hello World is played here. So let's see what happens behind the scenes. Let's go to a terminal and see what the files are that got created. So we go to the workspace demo project and we look at the files created there. We can see our source folder with all our source files. You can see a bunch of Eclipse things as well. And we have a modules folder, which is the output repository of what the, where the compiler created everything. We can see we have a hierarchy a bit like in Maven repos, where you have the module name, module version, and then a bunch of artifacts. The first artifact is the car, which contains the um, Generated, uh, generated class files, so it's a Salon archive, it's a bit like a jar. Then we have a, sor a source archive, which is a zip with all the source files, and then we have a bunch of signature files. And that's it. You can find more videos online on uh, our website at salon-lang.org or on our uh, YouTube video channel. Thanks, see you next time. Bye.